Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, I know. We have some catching up to do. We had family come in from out of town, so I've been busy doing that and work and so forth. So I have three bags of Dollar Tree items to share with you. So quite large for me because it's just two of us here. Uh, but I did pick up some extra things. We went to the Dollar Tree out in uh, Plainfield area. So I hadn't been to that place in a while. I was going to stop at Five Below, but um, no one wasn't really interested in going. We went out to, I don't remember what that mall is called, but it's out in Plainfield. There's Staples. There's, it's like an outdoor mall. There's a Dick's Sporting Goods, and we stopped at DSW to see about some shoes for my mother-in-law, but didn't find anything. Um, she found some shoes over in, uh, in JCPenney's, and I didn't know JCPenney's was open. <laughs> believe it or not, but um, just kind of browsed around. We just had a really nice visit. Anyway, so I have some items to share that I picked up. It has to be over a week ago. So just having my second cup of coffee, my Tim Hortons cup. <laughs> this one I picked up in um, actually Ohio. Um, as you know, I lived in Canada, if I haven't mentioned it before. Um, and Tim Hortons was a thing. I mean, it's all over. Um, I think we had like five or six Tim Hortons in the town that I lived in. Um, they had one here in Indianapolis, but they closed it. Uh, it didn't do so well. So when I am in town visiting uh, my kids, I go over to the Tim Hortons there. So let's get started. I will start with the newest. This is from the Plainfield. I... Since we moved here, I've been decorating the guest bathroom with a different type of theme. All of my frames were dark or brown. And the two bathrooms here that the previous owner, they um, decorated them, painted them. And so any dark frames wouldn't look really right. So I've been transitioning pieces that I got some things from Hobby Lobby that were on sale. So any, and any thrift frames that I find in um, Goodwill or any other thrift store, I pick up those to put in there. So I picked up this one uh, picture here. I really like it. And the theme in the guest bathroom, and it almost matches the picture that I got in Hobby Lobby. So it was kind of like a sea theme. I thought that would look really cute. Just above the toilet, I have one picture, and it's actually a uh, picture from a calendar uh lighthouse calendar that i had several years back and i really loved the pictures in there they have it's ocean themes but light lighthouses and so forth so i think this will look really good in there and another item i picked up there's as a little decoration i love the jute twine here is an anchor so Try to look for when you're designing your home or bedroom, whatever it is, look for not just photos, but any, any kind of deco, deco, decor piece. Sorry, I can't spit that out, uh, that you want to add to your wall. For instance, in a kitchen, you might hang spoons, wooden spoons that you're not really using, but as a decor piece, you can paint those, um, to match the colors of your kitchen. But I thought this was really cute. They also had it in blue. I think it was just the, the dark blue and the white that I recall. As you know, I repurposed my dust ruffle here on this bed. And I used, this is the Velcro that I use. Well, it worked good for a while, but I guess it's not that strong. So I picked up some more strips because I... Ran out of these. I picked up two more boxes and I'm going to add it because it keeps slipping down. Um, at the corners, I actually use a safety pin where you can't see it in behind the, the dresser here. So um, I'm going to add some more pieces because they keep slipping down. So uh, keep that in mind. If you do try my hack and you want to your dust ruffle against your mattress rather than pulling it out every time it's it's hard <laughs> so this way if you want to take the dust ruffle off 
is pretty easy just to throw it in the wash. So anyway, but you probably would need to replace these again. I saw Crafty Girl haul these and she had a great idea. These could be charms on your purse, but it could be also be on a journal. And uh, there's no hook there, but there is a little round uh, here. So you could take, you could probably get the cl clasp at like Michael's to actually hook on like that, what do you call it? The lobster claw, uh, claw clasp and put that on keychain. But you could put different things. You could put beads in there. You could pick up sand from vacation that you went to. So if it's a travel journal, uh, what else was I thinking of? Glitter, anything you want, you can put in these little um, bottles, but they are glass bottle charms and it's in the crafter square section. So I picked up those. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do or where I'm gonna put them. This was nice. They're getting all their Mother's Day things like lotions and perfumes and face masks and so forth. So I thought this was interesting. I got it for myself. It's the Bolero. They had a whole end cap full of eye creams, lotions, face masks. Uh, I have plenty of face masks that I haven't even used. But I thought this was interesting. Under eye cream, papaya and vitamin C. And I love the packaging in here, so it's nice, it's kind of secure, you know, and also just for a gift. Isn't that beautiful, this, this plastic thing? Could probably, yeah, you have to tear it and then it has a reseal if you wanted to reseal it. I was going to say you could use this bag for something else. Maybe when traveling you can put your hair ties in there um tweezers you know you can use this for to to put things in after another this is for just to freshen up yes they're feminine wipes okay let's get real here cleansing cloths mandarin orange but i was thinking you can use this like if you're traveling camping and you can't get to a shower right away this is nice to you know freshen up your body so they're not necessarily what it's for. You can just freshen up your whole skin um, with that. So, yeah. And this is Mandarin Orange. So this would be kind of neat to go into a gift bag for someone. Kind of a theme. This I picked up for my daughter. I don't know if she watches my, my videos. They had three different kinds. These are the car coasters. And if you're not sure what these are, you see the little notch here. Most cars, these will fit into. Um, it's to, like, you know, you have that condensation on your drink. If you're going through a drive through whatever, the, it catches the moisture so it doesn't leave a pool of water in your car. The, coat, the little um, cup holder. So she said, I said, do you have one? She said, no. She had bought me, actually, she, no, I bought it. We went to a store and I got one for my car. It was a palm tree. And then my hairdresser who moved to Florida as a gift, she made her own. So I'm, I'm going to be on the lookout at Michael's to see if they have these unpainted so you can paint them there yourself. But this one they had so the pineapple, a rainbow, and I think the third option was a llama if I'm I don't know, but I love the pineapple, so I got that for my daughter. She said she didn't have one. These are really good. Um, I just saw them in the checkout. I was kind of in the mood for snacking, but I never ate it. It's Godiva, Godiva Chocolate Domes Double Chocolate. So it's nice just to have as a snack or like after dinner with a cup of tea. Okay, so let's put these away and I will grab the other two bags and this was yeah coming on a, almost two weeks ago I've been trying to wear scarves I have a few dresses that I wear um, not, I don't wear scarves enough under my coat but with as a you know just an accent piece with dresses 
I thought this was so cute for spring. It's little, let me hold it this way, little bicycles. And this theme, you've seen this a lot in note paper, not note paper, but folders. Um, they had it in different decor pieces, I think, wall decor. But I love that bike. My daughter had a bike, uh, that mint green color. So I thought that was really sweet. And that's by Juncture. They have a lot of really pretty scars, but those are the ones, that one of them is the one I really like. I got two more of these. I have, these are the battery um, uh, lead taper candle and they're battery operated. I have two in my kitchen and two candle holders. I just hung up more a wall decor in our bedroom. And so if you look right here and here, I've had these for a long time and I hung them up, I'm wanting to hang them up. So they each have uh, two candle holders. So I thought this would be cute. I'm gonna grab the ones from the kitchen and put these in here. I do have real candles, but um, I would use those on a table versus on the wall. You don't want the like the candles there. So this is nice if you wanted to have a little uh, decoration. I think I, I wanna say that I had these um, Previously, I had them in our living room or dining area when I lived in Canada. I didn't have them in the bedroom. I meant to grab these out of the bag. One was for me, one was for my mother-in-law. <laughs> so they have different designs and you get two pieces of emery boards. Um, and these don't last very long. So I needed one for the house and one to like throw in my purse. So really cute designs. This I think they had like four different designs, and you and you get like a solid one and a print. So yeah, so I really like these. I'm gonna send one of those to her. This I thought was nice to have in my car. Um, I usually have like a little uh, deodorizer thing that I got from uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, or uh. <laughs> Bath and Body Works and uh, but I thought this would be nice if you get kind of a funk the dog when I take her maybe we go to a park sometime or just take her to the vet if I, any kind of funky smell this is nice it's called odor ban eliminates odor disin disinfectant and it's eucalyptus I think there was another scent and I don't recall what it was but I thought this was great let's see if we can yeah that's nice it's not overpowering eucalyptus but it's a nice a nice scent where these wear out pretty quick I have the fresh linen and I forget what the other one is in the bathroom but the cashmere woods if I recall right is really nice it's kind of almost like a not to say manly smell but kind of like a mix of vanilla yeah I, I just like it or maybe like it shows the pine cone so it's kind of a woodsy smell so um probably put this in our main bathroom and one of my favorite snacks yes i always end up picking up a snack <laughs> i love mike and ike's these probably now they're dollar 25 if you're getting them on the shelf, which is weird, how would they do that? But if you go, my uh, cashier at the local um, Dollar Tree here, she said if you go through the checkout and purchase an item, it rings up as a dollar. But if it's out on the shelves, it's a dollar twenty-five. Interesting. Let's see. Let me look at my. No. Nope. That one place that came up as a dollar twenty-five, so I think all of them are converting to a uh, dollar, dollar twenty-five, even on the shelf. So just keep that in mind. We knew it was coming, dollar twenty-five. Okay, this last bag. I had just purchased um, some facial wipes a while back. 
but I want to get more of my stash. I always look, and it's really hard to find the Bolero uh, facial wipes. And I really like the different scents they had. I, I don't know why they haven't made new ones. So this is the watermelon and sweet mint. So I like that. Sometimes I just don't feel like scrubbing my face. So I'll just do this real quick before heading to bed. A Pete Purchase. Love these sponges. The other ones, they come in like a six pack, I think, or a four pack. But this is just two, but I like the Scrub Buddies better. I feel like this holds up better. The other one kind of like another vlogger mentioned it, it comes apart all you know like this this scrub part but this one doesn't so I recommend getting these and you know you just toss it when it gets a little old you can put this in the refrigerator I hadn't seen this before it's nature's goodness you hear Pecas 100% pomegranate juice only 60 calories so that's a nice refreshing drink Alternative to soda, right? I have one pot out front. And I think I'll go put it in there, or I might get it in, put it in a different pot, maybe out in the backyard. Thought this was cute. These are flower pot huggers, <laughs> and I love the bee. They had also ladybug. And maybe a frog, I think. But they're really cute. And they just hook on to your... I think you can bend these. You can adjust it to the size pot you have. But just thought the little bee was so sweet. And I think this is the last item. You know I have tons of stickers. And I don't really need any more. But this one was new. And I wanted to use this in... in you know my scrapbook but also when you I have a recipe book and I have different pages that are blank so I thought this would be kind of cute so there is kind of a farmhouse uh, the rub on transfers they have all kinds of seasonal things there's leaves uh, rakes there's a pumpkin here I thought this was neat the little cutting board which says pantry but you can use this on all different not just on, um, you know, like a scrapbook, but you can use it on, you know, wood surface, do it on glass. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, here, yeah, you can put it, make your own and frame, make your own design and frame it. So you can take these and cut them out. What I do recommend, there is a sheet on the back, I think I mentioned it before, Cut out what you need carefully and put it back on that sheet because it's very, very sticky when you go to peel it off. So you don't want to peel the backing off and then try to like cut it. Cut out your image first, whatever section you want or sections. If you're taking like this whole section here, you want it, just cut around it first and then keep the rest on that backing. Otherwise you'll be in trouble because it happened to me and I had to throw it away, the rest of them, because they were already peeling off. So that's it for the Dollar Tree haul. It's almost time to get ready for work. So I thank you so much for watching. This will be posting later today on Thursday. And we'll get back to our routine and regular videos. Trying to get Jim to do the cooking video again. <laughs> He's busy getting ready for, um, we're having a farmer's market starting next Thursday and my next video I will share with you some of the things that he's making and selling there he's made some wood wood pens yes they're beautiful and also some cutting boards and charcuterie boards he's been busy in the garage getting all his inventory um, up to date so that he can sell those well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy I'm anxious to go uh, along with them. I'm not that crafty that way. I I like to design and decorate things and do a few little craft wood, uh, not wood, but paper crafts and so forth. So um, as you know, I've still shared those with you. 
Thanks again. We would love to have you part of our family here at Terry's Thrifty Finds. So if you'd like to hit that subscribe button and also the bell button on your way out so you're notified of the next video. Have a great night. Bye.